Hi everyone. My name is Rugvet Dighe and I am a solutions architect on the Amazon Selling Partner API team. Did you know that you can subscribe to different types of notification relevant to a selling partner? If you haven't used notifications before, Selling Partner API for notifications lets you set up an event-driven architecture where you can trigger workflows when you receive a specific event notification from Amazon. So instead of polling for information, your application can receive it directly from Amazon when an event triggers a notification to which you are subscribed. This setup allows in reducing the throttling issues and optimizing API usage. So how do we achieve this? By using Selling Partner API for notifications. Using this API, you can create a destination to receive notifications, subscribe selling partners to notifications, delete notification subscriptions, and more. At the time of recording this video, we currently support five notification types that can be used with Amazon Event Bridge. Today, we are going to deep dive into the listings item issues change notification type. You can use Amazon Event Bridge to route events from sources to different AWS services for processing. For this tutorial, we will use Amazon SQS queue as a target to read notifications. So let's get started. Step 1. We will create an Amazon Event Bridge destination. In order to create a destination, we will call the create destination operation of the notifications API, which is a grantless operation. In order to get an access token for a grantless operation, we should use the client credentials OAuth flow. Note that a grantless access token starts with ATC instead of a seller authorized access token, which starts with ATZA. Now that we have a grantless access token, let's call the create destination operation and provide the details such as AWS account ID, region, and the name of the Amazon event bridge destination in the request body. Once you submit this request, you will see details for Amazon event bridge partner event source that was created in the account you mentioned in the request. So make sure that you use the correct AWS account ID while submitting this request. You will notice a destination ID in the response. Please save it for the next step. Please note that you can only create one Amazon Event Bridge destination per AWS account. If you run into any issues with the setup later on, you will have to delete the Amazon Event Bridge destination first using delete destination operation in order to create a new Amazon Event Bridge configuration. Step 2. Now that we have created an Amazon Event Bridge destination, let's go ahead and configure it on our AWS account. Log in into your AWS account and navigate to Amazon Event Bridge service. In the console, ensure that the AWS region that you specified when calling the create destination operation is selected. For me, it is US West 2. Click on Partner Event Sources. Under name, select the partner event source that matches the name value returned in the create destination response. It should look like this. On the new page that appears, choose associate with event bus. Leave the checkboxes empty on this page, then choose associate. You have now successfully created a partner event bus and associated it with your partner event source. Step 3. Let's create an SQS queue to receive notifications. Go to SQS Service Console and click on Create Queue. Select the standard queue and add a name to it. For testing purpose, I am naming it Test Event Bridge Queue. In the encryption settings, I will disable it for this tutorial. But you can enable this setting for security purposes. You can keep the remaining settings as it is. Click on Create Queue to create the SQS queue. Let's move to step 4 where we set up a rule on Amazon Event Bridge to deliver notifications to our SQS queue when an event is triggered. Go back to Event Bridge service and click on Rules on the left navigation pane. Click on Create Rule. Enter a name for the rule and under Event Bus drop-down, select the bus that we associated with Partner Event Source. 
choose next for event source select aws events or event bridge partner events scroll down to creation method select use pattern form now in the event pattern section you will have to select event source as event bridge partners partner as amazon selling partner apis this will populate the event type option where you would select all events this will populate the pattern on the right which indicates that you will receive all events emitted by sellingpartnerapi.amazon.com if you would like to create a pattern to receive notifications only for a specific notification type then you can add detail type attribute and mention the notification type here i will mention listings items issues change choose next now you can select the aws service that should be used as target to deliver notifications we will use the SQS queue that we already created in the previous step. Select AWS service and in the drop down for select a target, click on SQS queue. Select the SQS queue that we created earlier. Choose next. You can add tags for this rule. Select next. On this page, you can review your settings and then click on create rule. Step five. We can go ahead and create a subscription for the notification. A subscription will allow you to receive event notifications for that specific seller. While the destination is the target where all the event notifications for all sellers should be delivered. We will use the create subscription operation of notifications API for the specific notification type. You will need to call this operation for each seller you would like to receive notification for. This operation is not a grantless operation, so you would need an authorized seller access token. If you notice, this access token starts with ATZA. For this tutorial, I am using listings items issues change as a path parameter. In the request body, we will specify the destination ID that we received in the response of create destination request. Once we submit, we will receive a response with a successfully created subscription ID. And finally, step six, let's test a notification event that we would receive in the SQS queue. Navigate to your AWS console and into the SQS service. Select the SQS queue created earlier and click on send and receive messages. Scroll down to receive messages section and check if there are any messages available in the queue. If you would like to read these messages, click on poll for messages you will see a list of messages that were received. Open any message to view the contents. You can regularly poll for messages on the SQS queue through your application and process them on your end as per your requirement. Voila! You have successfully set up Amazon Selling Partner API notifications using Amazon Event Bridge and tested out a notification event using Amazon Selling Partner APIs. You can now receive notifications in real time and take actions based on the notification event. This is all I had for you today. Hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more SP API videos and happy coding from all of us at Amazon Selling Partner API team. Thanks for watching.